Hi guys and assalamu alaikum welcome to my new blog post blog post 2 and in this blog post I'm going to discuss about database management system or TBMS in general. So when we talk about database management system uh, we first need to know about the databases in itself. So basically database is a collection of related data and Data is a collection of facts and figures that can be processed to produce the information. Um, the point to be noted over here is like most data, mostly data represents recordable facts. Uh, data aids in producing information which is based on facts. For example, if you if we have a data about marks obtained by all students, we can then conclude about toppers and the average marks. So basically, when we talk about the DBMS or database management system, database management system actually stores uh, the data in such a way that it becomes easier to retrieve, manipulate, and product produce the related information. So there are multiple characteristics of database management system, and I'm just going to discuss them one by one. So traditionally, data was organized in various file formats. Uh, so DBMS was a new concept back then, and all the research was done to make it overcome the deficiencies in the traditional style of the database management. Uh, data management. Right now, to, in today's world, uh, a modern DBMS has the following characteristics. So first one is like, should be a real, it acts like a real world entity. A modern DBMS is more realistic and uses real world entities to design its architecture. It uses the behavior and attributes too. For example, a school database may use students as an entity and their age as an attribute. Next one is relation-based table. Uh, when we talk about relation-based tables, DBMS allows entities and relations among them to form table. A user can understand the architecture of a database just by looking at the table names. Then comes isolation of data and application. A database system is entirely different than its data. A database is an active, active entity, whereas data is said to be passive on which the database works and organize. Database DBMS also stores met metadata, which is actually data about the data to ease its own processes. Next one is less redundancy. Uh, DBMS basically follows the rules of normalization, which splits a relation when any of its attributes is having redundancy in values. Normalization is basically a mathematically rich and scientific process that reduces the data redundancy. Next one is consistency. Uh, basically, when we talk about the consist consistency, it's basically a state where every relation in a database remains consistent. There exist methods and techniques which can detect attempt of leaving database in inconsistent state. A DBMS can provide greater consistency as compared to earlier forms of data storing applications like file processing systems. Next one is query language. Database DBMS is basically equipped with the query language, which makes it more efficient to retrieve and manipulate the data. A user can apply as many as uh, different filtering options as required to retrieve a set of data. Uh, traditionally, it was not possible when we talk about the file processing system. Next one is ACID. So when we talk about ACID, it means atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. Uh, so these concepts are applied on the transactions which manipulate data in a database. ACID, ACID properties help the databases stay healthy in multi-transactional environment and in case of failure. Then it is multi-user and uh, concurrent SX, deep, uh, access. DBMS uh, basically supports multi-user environment and allows them to access and manipulate data in parallel. Uh, through, uh, though there are restrictions on the transactions when users attempt to handle the same data item, but users are always unaware of them. 
Then the last, the second last one is multiple views. DBMS basically offers multiple views for different users. A user who is the sales department, who is actually in the sales department, will have a different view of a database than a person working in the production department. These features enable the users to have a concrete view of the database according to their requirements. And the last one is security. Features like multiple views offer security to some extent where users are unable to access data of other users and departments. DPMS offers methods to impose constraints while entering data into the database and retrieving the same at a later stage. DPMS offers many different levels of security features, which enables multiple users to have different views with the different features. For example, a user in the sales department cannot see the data that belongs to the purchase, purchase department. Additionally, it can also uh, be managed how much data of the sales department should be displayed to the user. Since a data DBMS is not saved on the disk as traditional file systems, it is very hard for miscreants to break the code. So this is all about the database management system and its characteristics. In next topic, I'm going to discuss about the users of the database. So hopefully you have liked the video and please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel, Yasser Fazal. And please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you should get the latest updates. And as always, please spread the knowledge. Thank you.